Wand 2.2 image to video generator. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with Wand 2.2. Now Wand 2.2 is one of Alibaba's brand new launches and it's truly something that I have appreciated because of how realistic it has become. Wand 2.2 strikes a really nice balance between being able to create hyper-realistic videos as well as interpreting data together because it creates something that you're you're going to find very quickly it is able to interpret multiple different elements together and if you have things that are interacting within video sometimes those can be glitchy the movements can be choppy but this model does a really great job at making sure that all elements are working together to build a harmonious video so let's take a look at how we can get started to get started simply head on over to one.video once you do that on your top right you're going to have the ability to sign up and purchase credit or subscribe. We will be discussing pricing at the end of this video, so make sure to stay until then. Now, I have already subscribed to their pro plan. They have multiple different plans available, and if you only want to purchase credits, then you can do that as well. Once you do that, you're going to go into generate on the left, and you will see this little section here. Now, this is one video that we have previously created, but today we're going to be focusing on converting an image into a video. So we're just going to select image to video from the bottom within our prompt box. Then from there, you're going to choose the model that you're going to be using, which for us is going to be their latest model, which is going to build film-like quality with delicate motion. After that, you're going to proceed and you're going to select and click on add image and you can choose from your history or upload them from your device. I'm going to be uploading an image from my device and I just want it to be a really basic image so that we are able to bring some type of twist to this particular image that we're going to be using. So in this image, I want to open this up and refer to the image and describe the desired dynamic process. So I'll show you guys the image that we have uploaded so you guys can see as well. And this is the image that we have uploaded. Now I want the camera to zoom out and the woman to start walking. So the camera pans out and the woman is walking towards stairs and i'm not gonna go with more detail i think this sounds right now after that i do have three more things that i can alter so if you click on the filters icon over here you have the ability to generate with credits you also have inspiration mode and you also have sound effects so you can toggle these on and off now i'm going to proceed and i'm just going to go on ahead and then proceed with our image to video using the latest model of one now within this you will see see a estimated creation time as well which i really do appreciate you're not going to find this type of estimated creation time on a lot of the other popular ai models because they are not providing these times because it can take longer for them to give you results and whenever you're creating a video with the one 2.2 model you have the ability to reuse this and rerun this and you can rerun without credits depending on your current generation settings as well so we are going to wait and see what our final results look like. So right now our estimated time has been completed and just like so our video has been created and now the woman is walking towards some steps and you guys can see how accurately it was able to understand the image and it made these steps look like they are a part of this castle architecture and it overall looks like a very cohesive shot which I really do appreciate. Now once you create your image or you know create your video from your image you can click on download and download this with a watermark on their pro plans however you can also proceed with upgrading and then download without a watermark if that is what you require now on the right you also have the ability to use this same prompt and opt for a different model or change your overall settings now let's take a look at how we can organize our projects because if you directly go into generate you're going to find all of your projects so to keep everything a bit simplified you can go under project and then click on new project to make sure everything is a bit more organized now I'll show you guys another example of video creation using their latest model. This includes using their two frame option, but you cannot do this with 2.2. You do have to opt for 2.1. In this, you can add the starting and the ending images and create the scene in between. This is great for adding a 
continuous shot if you don't have one already. Now keep in mind that 2.2 is not available on all of the different types of functions. So if you are looking to create different effects, then you do not have 2.2. If you're looking to use references, you are not going to have access to 2.2. So currently it is limited to just the general image to video and text to video options. Now another example of image to video is going to just be a simple movement. So I'm going to be taking a really basic image from one of my studio shoots such as this one and then I'm going to refer the image so the woman swatches the eyeshadow eyeshadow on her arm and this is the image so I'll show you guys the image this is what the image looks like and we're just going to click on confirm and I want to create a swatching image or video from this image and then I'm just going to proceed over here and just like so we're going to take a look once the results have been completed so right now our video is almost complete and now it is complete so this is what the video looks like and she is displaying swatches on her arm and she is posing you guys can see it was able to take the basic directions and it was able to create a really nice video although you guys can see that the swatches are a bit inconsistent with the colors that i have displayed and we have three four five six seven and eight swatches whereas there only should be six swatches so what i can do is that i can proceed and rerun this and i can rerun this entire thing or use this again and then ask it to or i can just specify the number of swatches that need to be present on her arm and i can also so choose if I want her to actually swatch it in front or to just display the swatches but overall it was able to bring out a pretty consistent video that is in theme with the type of content that I was provided and just like so you can get started with creating your own videos just with the help of a singular image not only can you create these amazing videos but if you want to create the images you can just click on the bottom and then select image and you can create your image here first once you create your image then you can convert that into a video all within one. Now you must think that hey because this is such a realistic model it is so diverse and it's so quick it must be super expensive. Well it's not expensive at all. On the top right you guys can see I have 280 credits but but you can get 300 credits per month for only six dollars and five cents and this is going to approximately give you 60 30 to 60 videos. Then you have the premium plan at 29 dollars a month which gives you access to 1200 credits and if you want you can separately purchase credits as well. You can purchase 150 credits for $5 and 300 credits for $10 and you even have the ability to purchase gift cards so you can have all of your friends and family working on one as well. And if you choose to opt for yearly billing you would be saving 50% and it would only cost you $5 every month. Currently the pro plan is discounted at $6.5 every month otherwise it normally is going to be $10 a month and you can cancel anytime the first month of the year is going to be a non-refundable after activation however so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below i would love to know what you guys have to say